Hi everyone. Today we are going to see about how to create a scheduled process with Spring Boot application. From this video I am going to explain about to create a scheduled process with Spring Boot by using a cron, cron job expression. So this is a web service Spring Boot application program. I have already created the controller in my previous videos. So for this controller I used a greeting service implementation class file. Here I have declare, defined the method. So from this method I am going to pick any one of them. Uh, I think uh, get greeting list method we can use for schedule process. If you want to support the scheduler in your Spring Boot application the first step you have to add the annotation at enable scheduling so this annotation is used to enable the scheduler in your Spring Boot application so when application runs up it will automatically to start the support for scheduler the next step I am going to create here another one package com dot talk to amreswaran dot projects dot web service dot scheduler I am going to write a scheduler component class file to this package so package is created now I am going to create a class file web service scheduler so we need to add the at component annotation for this class file okay the next what I am going to do now uh, like uh, I am going to create a method to support the cron job scheduler process I am going to define a method called uh, define a method name called get creating list by cron job uh, we need a scheduler annotation to run this method or to trigger this method or invoke this method at uh, particular time I like to invoke this method every 5 seconds here I am giving the java cron expression so this cron expression should be a java cron expression not a linux cron expression so every 5 seconds we need to return I just want to make sure the expression so I am looking the Java cron expression from the Oracle site to make sure the expression is correct or not okay some list of uh, websites are showing okay here we need to go Java cron expression yeah see this one docs.oracle.com this website uh, okay so in this website look at that cron expressions so list of few example cron expressions are given below see this example I mean the expression it fire uh, every minute starting at 2 p.m. and ending at 2 59 p.m. every day okay I think it is correct so we don't need a specific time uh, we need to call this method or we need to invoke this scheduler at every 5 seconds so I put it star star for all the attributes in the cron expression and then the fire the first attribute is a seconds value so I given the uh, 0 divided by 5 so it will invoke this scheduler method every 5 seconds uh, I auto add the greeting service class and then uh, from this greeting service class I am going to call a greeting service dot get greeting list method it will return the list of greetings okay just I am inputting the necessary packages okay uh, it may be the greeting list may be null so I am doing a check if greeting list is null 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 then I am printing a log message like this sysout message uh, including this sysout message I am printing a date itself 
to make sure this scheduler is calling every five second or not so okay if the greeting list is null i am just printing the message greeting list is empty if it is not null i am just printing uh, message greeting list is not empty and the size is like i am printing greeting list dot size so this method will call every five seconds after the application startup if the greeting list is null it will print the message greeting list is empty if the greeting list is not empty it will print the message greeting list is not empty and the size is one or two something it will print okay now i am going to take a build of this project i just copy the location the command prompt okay by uh, take a build by using a command gradle clean build it will take a build so the gradle will run the task one by one the compile java and then gradle resources and then the it will run the test cases it's taking some little time okay gradle has started starting a gradle demo okay it's running okay it's executing the task compile java process resources find main class assemble compile test java and some test cases is running right now we don't have any test cases Okay. okay build is successful go to the build and lips directory you will find a jar file run this jar file by using the command java if and jar and that uh, the jar file name okay see here uh, application is chartered the port number 8080 now see here the log message is printing the greeting list is empty and the look at the time the seconds 45 50 the greeting list is empty now what i am going to do now i am going to create a greeting by using a postman collection so postman is setting up now Okay, look at the postman collection. So I'm going to create a greeting now by using a P. See, the greeting is saved successfully, and then the status code two not one is created. I mean, there is a in the response. Uh, and then look at here, the greeting list is not empty and the size is one. Now I'm going to create another one greeting hello so it is also the uh, greeting is saved successfully in the next five seconds see look at here the greeting list is not empty and the size is two so every five second the scheduler is running and then is trying to fetch the list of greetings and just copy the message the log message into the notepad and then we can see the different here Look at this. Every five seconds, the 45, 50, 55, 0, 5, 10, 15. So every five seconds, the greeting list is empty. Message is printing. After I created the greeting list also, the every five seconds it's printing, but it's trying to fetch the record of greeting list. And then it's printed the size 1 and 2. So this is the way we have to invoke the scheduler or uh, create a scheduled process by using a cron job the java cron job expression thank you for watching